Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse here, aka BGFH, and I am back for another assistive technology spotlight video. Um, not terribly long ago, I recorded a video for you guys uh, that was showing a suite of products that was offering kind of an, a web-based accessible typing program, and it was... Uh, Kind of a, it was kind of a cool suite of products, um, but again, it was a subscription base, and um, it was free for a couple of months during the pandemic here. But uh, since then, I wanted to show you guys another online accessible typing app, and this one is called Typer Online. If any of you are familiar with APH, American Printing House for the Blind and their talking typer software which has been in some form since forever and a day ago um <clears throat> i remember talking typer <laughs> that's actually how i learned to type and that was on the apple II, for god's sake i remember talking typer for the apple II. so yeah i go way back on that but they've had a pc version for many many years and they have also done an iOS version, an iOS app that I have also done a video for in the past. Um, you can get it on the App Store for about five bucks, which is a really pretty good deal. All you need is like an iPad or iPhone and a Bluetooth keyboard. And uh, yeah, but now they have Typer Online. Now this is a beta it is still technically in early access, so while it works, they're probably going to be adding more features to it, uh, fixing it up a little bit. There's still a couple of issues here and there, which I will mention <clears throat> as we go along. I do have NVDA, the latest version of NVDA running, and I'm going to be using Chrome. And so let me bring up Chrome really quick. Home typer online, Boom, Google Chrome. there we go. Home typer online document. Link so this is what's cool about this. What I like about this is A, it's free, and B, it's available right through your web browser. You could actually use this. I haven't tried it yet, but you can actually use it within Safari on your phone or tablet as well. A coworker of mine tried that the other day, and he said it's a little bit goofy in a couple areas, but it overall works pretty well. Uh, I've tried it on a couple of different Windows PCs, desktops, laptops, and it seems to work fine. Um, I've tried it with JAWS. I've tried it with NVDA. The one thing I will say is Narrator, uh, that doesn't quite work really well yet. They are aware of that. <clears throat> I did send um, APH, I did send them some feedback with uh, a few suggestions and bugs that I did encounter. Um, when using Narrator, um, it just handles things on web pages a little bit differently. I tried it in Chrome. I tried it in Edge. Um, but in some cases, it doesn't give you enough information. And sometimes it kind of gives you too much. But in a lot of cases, it, it's just kind of weird. It just doesn't quite work correctly. Now, the one thing that I would recommend before you start using this uh, typer online, go to your screen reader options. In this case, I'm going to go into NVDA. NVDA menu. Preferences and I'm going to go into preferences. Settings. Speech dictionary submit settings. I'm going to go into settings. NVDA settings. General. And Roll. I'm going to go down to speech. Speech 2 of 14. Speech property page. Now what I'm going to do. Grouping. Change. Voice. Combo box. Microsoft. Rate. Slider. Pitch. Slider. Rate. Slider 70. Alt. 69. 66, 65. I'll slow it down a little bit for you guys, but that's not the setting I want to change. The setting that I would recommend that you change... Pitch, slot, volume, automatic language, automatic dialect switching, punctuation slash symbol level, combo box, some collapsed, alt plus L. Punctuation level. <clears throat> In this case, you're going to want to switch it... Most, all. To all. Home dash typer online dash Google Chrome. It's going to be a little obnoxious, and when, you, when you're not using this uh, typing program... You know, you can switch it back to some or whatever other setting that you had it set to. Um, but I find that it helps to set it to all here because your different typing lessons are going to give you um, punctuation 
in there that you would otherwise not hear. So if it's, you know, if you're just typing a word and it says hello period or whatever, you're not necessarily going to hear that. And so you need to know if you're, especially if you're, you're working toward accuracy, <clears throat> you want to be able to uh, hear those things. So I'm going to back in Chrome here. Typer online logo graphic typer lessons clickable button. And right now we user guide clickable have button. lessons and a user guide. I'm not going to go into the user guide right now, but it is there and um, it has some good information in there for you. Lessons clickable We're going to go into lessons. Now, one thing that I do hope that they do add is more of a, not so much the games, but like the actual, I would like a quick <clears throat> word and sentence practice, like from this screen just to be able to say, like, if I, let's say I'm out somewhere and I want to meet with somebody and just see how well they type, I want to have them, you know, again, I'm comparing it to Marvel Soft's Talking Typing Teacher, where I can just right from their main menu, I've got word practice and I have a few levels of sentence practice where I can just say, okay, um, I want to see how comfortable you are with the keyboard. Do you need, you know, further typing lessons or typing practice? And it'll go in, you know, word practice will give them 20 words to type. Sentence practice, they have different levels, you know, short, medium, and obscenely long um, sentences. But I kind of like the first one or two categories there. So I'd like to see something like that right off the bat in addition to lessons here on the main page. User guide, lessons clickable So we're going to go to lessons. I'm going to hit enter. Lessons dash typer online document. Okay. Application lessons. <clears throat> Main landmark. Lessons list. Home keys for the left hand one of 25 level one. Main landmark. Lessons list. Home keys for the left hand one of 25. Okay. Home keys for the left hand button. Home keys for the right hand button. And I can simply just tab New through keys these. Are G it's and a H very... Button. Home keys for the right hand button. New keys are G and H button. Very simple, straightforward interface. There's really no clutter. Um, I really do like that. And then along the left-hand side. Keys for the le home keys for the about button. User guide button. Lessons button. You see those, there's three buttons on the left-hand side. We have lessons. User guide button. User guide. About button. And about. Main landmark. Lessons list. Home keys for the left hand okay. one of 25 I'm just level look one. At something I want to move my mouse Start. out of the way here. Per percent accuracy. Errors. If I were to arrow up from here. Home keys. Home keys. I can just home use key, my arrow new, keys and it just kind of works like a list view. So we're going to hit enter on keys, for the, keys left for the left hand dialog. Application. Start lesson dash beginning with your little finger comma. Place the fingers of your left hand on a comma, S comma, D comma, and F dot. Use your right thumb to press the space bar after each word or set of letters dot. Button. So you are getting, you know, unfortunately the regular punctuation dot comma, whatever. There's not a lot of detail in, you know, they just say place your fingers on the ASDF, you know. Um, but, you know, like they, they could say put your left pinky on. I mean, it, it seems self-explanatory if you have typed at all before. But if you're teaching this to, you know, like a little kid or something, um, you know, having some detail for, you know, your, your, your pointer finger, or your index finger is on the F, your middle finger on the D your ring finger on the S and then your uh, pinky on the A. So I'm going to home keys for the left hand. I'm going to application button lesson list application. Come on button lesson list. Oops. Come on application start lesson dash beginning with your little finger right. lessons dash typer online clickable button home keys for the right hand button new keys are G and H. Button capitals and the period key. Button the caps lock key. Button new keys are T and ASDF. So ASDF. 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 FDSA. So now it says ASDF. DSA. 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 FDSA. So ADSF. ADSF. Now, if I forget what I, if I didn't quite hear what they, what I heard, um, I can hit tab. ADSF. ADSF. And it'll keep repeating. ADSF space. ADSF. 
ADSF. ASDF. 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 FDSA. ASDSA. A. 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 S. So sometimes I do find that it, it kind of lags behind and you're not sure about whether your key echo S. is saying what it's supposed to or if it's reading old things. That's why I've made a few mistakes. So that's something that, you know, depending on like what screen reader you use and kind of how you have your voice set, um, it could be a little bit better about, you know, maybe not saying the letters that you have typed. Yes. Um, because I heard ASDF and I thought they were just making me repeat that. But in fact, I had to wait a little bit longer to hear the next like FDSA. So what are we typing here again? S. S. Okay. S. A S. A S. As. A S. So when it said as, that was it. That was NVDA just repeating like it as a word. So let's hit tab again. A S. Okay. A S. As. F A D. F A D. Fad. F A D. Fad. F A D. A D. Ah, that was my fault. Dad. A D D. Okay. A D D. Add. A D D. Add. A. 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 A S. A S. As. F A D. Fad. A D D. Add. A. A. S A D. Oops. S A D. Sad. F A D. Fad. A D D. Add. A. A. S A D. Sad. S A D. Sad. F A D. Fad. A D D. Add. A. A. S A D. Sad. F A D. Fad. D A D. Dad. Button new keys are T and U. Application. Next lesson dash 36 words comma, 12.41 words per minute comma, 9 errors comma, 92% accuracy button. So there you go. Um, it's a lot lower than it could have been just because I was pausing to talk and I did make a couple of mistakes there. Um, the other thing is, is that it, there, if I remember correctly in the documentation, the manual that it says they do have it kind of smartly, like as it's reading, it's not counting that time against you. So it's really until you start typing that it's going to start uh, recording your time. And you can set um, what threshold that you want to meet before you're allowed to or before you move on. Um, so, you know, you can say like 90% or actually, can you in this one? That was the, uh, you could do that in the other one that I just showed. I don't think that is here now that I think about it. I apologize. Um, Button lesson list. Let's do lesson list because I don't want to go to, I want to go to more of an advanced lesson just so you guys can hear something more than just like ASDF. New keys are V and O9 of 25 level So, one. okay, sure. New keys are V and O. So let's go into that one. New keys are V and O dialogue. Application. Start lesson dash the V is below and right of F comma and O is directly above the L dot. Use your left index finger to strike V dot. Use your right ring finger to strike O dot. Button. So again, it just keeps your uh, description. It tells you where the key is. It tells you what finger to use to hit them. Um, you know, it's no frills, but it just gives you the information that you need to know. Button home keys for the left hand. Application. So I'm just going to shut it up and hit tab. HJKL semi. Okay, HJKL semi. HJKL. ASDFT. ASDFT. Ask feed. UJKL semi. ASDER. ASDER. INJKL. INJKL. FB. 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 VFB. FBF. FBF. LO. LO. OL. OL. FBLO. Lo, L O V E, love, A B, A B, D B, D B, F B, F B, T B, T B, 
EV EV RV RV JO JO KO KO LO LO UO UO IO IO NO NO SAVE SAVE VAN VAN SOLD SOLD GOOD GOOD LEAVE LEAVE HOUSE HOUSE LOAN WHAT? L-O-A-N <coughs> Okay LOAN ROVER IS A GOOD DOG DOT AND WE'RE GONNA HAVE CAPITALS ROVER IS A GOOD DOG THE VIOLETS ARE RED DOT AND YOU DO WANT TO HAVE PUNCTUATION BECAUSE OTHERWISE I DON'T THINK IT WOULD TELL YOU the, the violets. Violet. Red. Red. Dot. The lilies are in the vase dot. The. Space. Lilius. Oops. R. R. In the vase. S. E. Dot. Vax. Ugh. The house is near the hill dot. It. The. Hill. Judd sold the van to our dad dot. Judd. D. Space sold the van to oh, our. Oh, D. Two Ds. Yeah. Judd. Sod. Sold the uh, van to, to our dad. Da David loves to sing and run. Dot. David, David love, love S to, to sing and are you run? From cap it space is a, what? cap it space is a good thing to have a goal. Dot. Oh, it, it is it, a good it, thing to have a, a goal. Go button home keys for the left hand. Okay. Application. Next lesson dash seventy four words comma thirty point four one words per minute comma twelve errors comma ninety six percent accuracy button. So the main thing is, is um, you will get, with your screen reader, you will get a little bit of key echo. And if that's going to be dependent on, again, how you have your screen reader set. Um, if you're comfortable, again, aside from changing the punctuation, I have NVDA echoing words. But if I don't want that because the app itself is actually kind of telling me those things, through my screen reader, I could, you know, because I don't have key echo set to on. Um, so if I were to turn key, um, word echo off, it wouldn't add that extra little bit of text. You know, if I say, you know, it said L-O-V-E and then I hit space and it said love, that was it echoing back what I wrote before it would tell me what the next word was. So, you know, especially if your screen reader has settings where you can like set a profile like jaws does you could say oh when you go to this website um you know turn this type of key or word echo off set your punctuation to all but then when you leave that then it'll go back to your normal preferred settings so that's where like some of these screen reader settings um schemes can come in handy now, again, if somebody's new to the keyboard, they're not going to know these things because they're obviously needing to learn the keyboard first. But if you are an instructor, a teacher, or just somebody that's working with a blind or visually impaired student who is learning to type, these are things that you can kind of pre-set up and help them with um, just so that they are ready and they don't... It kind of lessens the confusion, especially as they're trying to figure out what they need to type and if they did it correctly or not. I mean, when you do it successfully, you hear the ding. When you, you when you hit something wrong, it kind of buzzes at you and it will speak the remainder of the letters in that um, sequence of characters it wants you to type. And in those sentences, it'll say, it'll spell the, the current word that you are supposed to be typing and then finish speaking the rest of the sentence or phrase. So I think they do a pretty good job of using whatever screen reader you're using. Um, you do have to play with the settings maybe a little bit just to make it um, the cleanest for you. But that is essentially what this does. And the thing that I like about it is that, you know, sighted students or sighted people have always had or for a long time have had these online um you know typing programs or online typing websites you can just oh go uh go do typing drills or do typing lessons and you know it's obviously all visual and the vast majority of those do not work well 
for blind users or screen reader users because they're not designed to be. So, you know, we've always had to buy, uh, until fairly recently, we've always had to buy, you know, not extremely expensive software, but like, um, you know, $100 PC program. There's a couple of those out there. Um, then you had the $5 iOS app, which was actually really nice, especially since a lot of schools were using iPads anyway, you know, just get a Bluetooth keyboard and then they can learn both to type and how to start using the keyboard with some of their apps that they're using for school. And now, because every platform, you know, be it Android, iOS, PC, Mac, every one of these options has free, if not included, screen readers in them. You know, um, in Windows, you have NVDA and JAWS. You have, like I said, Narrator is a little sketchy. I hope that they do get that fixed out before they re roll out the official like 1.0 release. Um, like I said, this is still in uh, kind of an early beta form, but for what it is, it's working pretty well. But, you know, if you can literally you buy a computer for a blind person and, you know, they can fire up Narrator, they can use NVDA, you have two free options there, and they can learn their keyboarding skills right along with everybody else, or maybe they're not even in school. Maybe they are in a, you know, maybe they need to, brush up on their typing skills so that they can be become more employable or go back to college or whatever it happens to be. Um, and now you have a perfectly free option, just like everybody else in the world does. Um, so I love that. You know, if you're using a Mac, uh, a coworker of mine has tried it with voiceover on the Mac and it seems to work pretty well. Um, he's also tried it on iOS with Safari, and it seems to work pretty well there. I haven't actually done that myself just yet, but um, <clears throat> it does work. So, running applications. Let me go back to button lesson list. Heading level. I'll go to the lesson list, and I'll just arrow through the lessons so you can kind of see what they are. Application. Come on. Heading level two. New keys are V and O. Uh. Lesson list button. Yeah. So let's go back lessons. there. Okay. So let's go all the way up. Home keys, home keys for the left hand one of 25 Just so you can one. see what is in there. Now, the one thing that is a little bit weird is some of the sequencing of the lessons are a little bit different than what I'm used to. I think even when compared to the actual software Windows version of Talking Typer or Marblesoft's program. Home keys for the right hand two of 25 level one. So there's only 25 lessons here. New keys are G and H3 of 25 level one. Capitals and the period key 4 of 25 level Important. 1. Important. The caps lock key 5 of 25 level 1. New keys are T and U6 of 25 level now 1. Now the caps lock key, I will say that one also can be a little bit sketchy. They may need to do a little bit of work on that. What I found is if you're using a screen reader, you know, what happens to caps lock? Um, you often have to, especially if you're on a laptop, you have to use the caps lock key. You hit it twice to actually toggle caps lock on or off because most of your modern screen readers actually use caps lock as a modifier. So if you're hitting caps lock twice, your typer online is actually going to count maybe one of those as an error and kind of get a little flustered with that. So, and I did, again, I re reported this type of feedback to APH and so they are looking into how they could possibly address that. But I know that was one of them that I had a little bit of trouble with. Uh, it was a little bit clunkier than it needed to be just because of how screen readers and the caps lock key interact in general. New keys are E and I7. New keys are R and N8. New keys are V and O9 of 20. New keys are C and Y10 of 20. New keys are W and M11. New keys are B and P12. New keys are X and Q13. New keys are Z and comma 14. New keys are quotation mark and apostrophe 15 of 25 level. Number key 16 of 25 level 1. There's your number keys. New keys are slash and question mark 17 of 20. The brackets and braces 18 of 20. Phrases 19 of 25 level 1. So they do have phrases. You can go into a phrase sequence here. So you can still do it. 
More phrases 20 of 25 More level 1. More phrases. Sentences 21 of 25 level 1. I kind of wouldn't mind just having... More sentences. Tw sentences 21 of 25 level 1. I don't one. know. Maybe having the phrases and sentences maybe available on the front thing just so you didn't have to necessarily go through the lessons um, because if somebody is... I don't know. I mean, it's a personal preference. I mean, it totally makes sense to have them here as well. But, um, you know, just some kind of a like... Oh, I'm an instructor and I want to see how you're doing and you know, let me let me watch you type and uh type type me some words or type me some uh short phrases or short sentences or something like that so we can kind of know. More sentences tw special punctuation dash grab and tilde 23 of 25 uh, yeah, level 1. Special punctuation. Special punctuation dash bang and at 24 of 25 <coughs> level dash 1. Dash bang or exclamation mark. Yes, that's a British thing. Bang, I think. <laughs> Special punctuation dash number and dollar twenty five of twenty five level one. So they had all of the numbers in one lesson, but they were nice enough to kind of split some of those special punctuation into groups of like three or so. And that's it. So they don't necessarily cover your function keys, your other modifier keys, like your six pack, your arrow keys, your number pad, which your computer may or may not have. Um, and, you know, if, if somebody actually needs that, you know, you could still get one of the programs. You could actually get, <coughs> excuse me, um, one of the actual software programs. But I think if they're able to learn the main um, layout of the keyboard, you know, that every keyboard has... Um, and it's typically, you know, your your QWERTY keyboard, all the keys are always going to be in the same spot. Every lesson in here, the 25 lessons, all the keys are going to be in the same spot. Um, you know, even your function keys, some of those could be different. Because, like, right now, I have Control, Windows, and Alt on my desktop keyboard. But that can change, and they can't necessarily explain that because they don't know what your keyboard is going to be. You know, if you're using a laptop, you either have the function key in the corner or the function key in between the Windows key and the control key. So, you know, you may or may not have a six pack. You may have it down the side or your home and end keys might be function and the arrow keys. And so I kind of understand why they left some of those off. But the critical bits of typing, the other things, you know, I think people can learn um, but they have the core stuff here and it is the best thing is like I said, it's all free and you can use it on pretty much any platform that you have access to. So now there's no reason, there's no excuse to leave a blind student or a visually impaired student out of learning the keyboard even at a young age because if everyone else is doing it, they should be able to do it too. You know, this is a free web-based service. All you need is internet access, a web browser, and your screen reader of choice. So there you go. That is a quick look at Typer Online. I will put the link to the uh, website in the description below so you guys can uh, go find it and bookmark it, add it to your favorites or whatever for yourself. I'm glad. I, it's cool that APH did bring this out. Um, and I look forward to seeing a few of these bugs and little quirks like the uh, caps lock thing and the narrator issue. Hopefully those are able to be resolved in the fairly near future. But until next time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH illegally cited.com and of course youtube.com slash illegally cited for the youtube channel thanks for watching and i'll chat with you guys in the next video